Nomura has downgraded the stock. The target price has been slashed to 1800. They fear four uh, negative surprises uh, from the recent con call. A sharp uptick in NPAs in the corporate loan book. They've highlighted they've highlighted higher costs to income due to accounting changes, NIM cuts uh, of 25 basis points, net worth adjustments as well. Uh, your thoughts on HDFC Bank currently, and uh, what would uh, your uh, suggestion to investors be who've been waited with patience uh, for a long time for the stock to now move? So, if you had had patience with uh, either HDFC Limited when it was there, or HDFC Bank, or HDFC MC, or HDFC Life, uh, I don't think you would have got disappointed, Sakshi. And it is a track record. And I love it when some foreigners come out with these kind of reports, you know, it <laughs> gives us an opportunity to, because, you know, there is always a knee-jerk reaction in the market of such reports. So you get an opportunity to invest into these stocks at uh, a decent valuation because naturally because of such reports, you will have pressure on the stock on that particular day or a following day. But let me just say this, this name HDFC Bank would, would have definitely a find place in almost all chief investment officers uh, mutual fund large cap list i don't think you will see hdfc bank missing out from any of those things secondly with the post merger there was a lot of expectation in the market this will happen that will happen but you know synergies take time to play out so you need to give it time we maintain our positive stance and i think uh, 1950 to 1980 that is 1950 to 1980 that is our target on HDFC Bank and we remain optimistic about our view and I think uh, if you do get an opportunity because of this report of some softness or otherwise in the market, then please look at opportunities like this to invest in HDFC Bank from a long term point of view. Million for you, uh, what would be a good buying range for HDFC Bank? See, currently we are seeing that HDFC Bank has started trading uh, well below the 200-day moving average line with this gap down opening. But yes, it has got a good support at around multiple support at around 1500 levels. So if you get a chance to enter uh, near, say, another 20-30 rupees lower, uh, then it is an extraordinary good uh, level to buy. Uh, I don't expect that 1500 would be taken off. Uh, from there, you could see a good rebound uh, towards say 1600 levels. So one can keep a stop loss of 1500 and play for the higher side. But if one has to enter here, uh, another 20-30 points, you can look lower. Anything that catches your fancy Gorang, at the moment, the dip is being purchased on two major indices. Shall I think all this pessimism because of this so-called report that is there would get wiped out completely, I'm assuring you, post the second quarter numbers that we'll see of HDFC Bank. And I think it's not going to be long. Uh, starting October, uh, first weekend or maybe second week, you will see earnings for the second quarter coming through for corporate India. So, uh, I remain extremely optimistic about this particular company, as this particular bank, HPFC Bank. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.